Okay. This is... Wow. They sell this in a dollar store? This is... This is really hard to chew. Hey everyone, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so in today's video, today's video is actually going to be a first for my channel. At least I believe so. It, it, no, it has to be because I haven't been to the store in a hot minute. Anyways, you guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a dollars, well, it's not really a dollar anymore, a dollar store haul that I've never done on my channel. So if you wanna know exactly what goodies I picked up at the dollar store, is it dollar store? No, Dollar Tree. Let me correct myself. Anyways, you guys, so if you want to know exactly what goodies I picked up from the Dollar Tree, then keep on watching. But before we get started on that, if you like unboxings, hauls, product reviews, makeup tutorials, and hot messes, <laughs> then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well, so anytime I upload new videos, <laughs> <laughs> you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up as well because as always I greatly appreciate it so without further ado let's go ahead and get on baggy and see exactly what goodies I picked up and give you a reason why I don't shop at a Dollar Tree all right you guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get on baggy and see exactly what goodies I picked up Anyways, you guys, all right, so just real quick, if you want to know exactly the overall cost that I spent, small receipt, right? But actually, it wasn't that small. Anyways, you guys, so it looks like all together, I spent $45.36. That's 25 cents. They add on to that dollar <laughs> really adds up. Seriously, it does. I'm curious and how much more. Oh, there is something on here that did cost $1. Just just one item. What costs $1 on here? Oh, Oh, the bazooka. Anyways, you guys, <laughs> let's go ahead and just see exactly what goodies I picked up. So, um, there's a new Dollar Tree. Did I say Dollar Store? Same thing. Anyways, you guys, so um, there's a new location that opened up recently by my house. Um, and I would say maybe it's been a, maybe two months old. So, you know you got to go to the new ones when they first open because by then, they're pretty good. You give it a year, they're not so good. At least I think. Anyways, you guys, so let me go ahead and step by step and show <laughs> let me show you little by little exactly what I chose and what I what was the reasoning. Oh my god, Carlos, get your words together. <sighs> mm. Anyways, you guys, so the first items that I picked up were these adorable um detangler detanglers detangler wait that sounds so funny detangler hairsprays that i bought for my daughter so i bought this one i have no clue what this is she was with me so it's a hot mess taking like almost a three-year-old into a dollar store yeah anyways you guys so i don't know what this is i don't know <laughs> i don't know if it's generic oh it's nickelodeon so clearly it's something all right so we got shimmer shine hair detangle detangler so this is cotton candy um Ew. I don't smell like cotton candy. You're, hopefully it doesn't smell when I put on her hair. Anyways, you guys, so the other detangler that I pulled, or the other detangler that I purchased is from Barbie. Um, so, yeah, this is also cotton candy. Let's see how this one smells like. It smells like tanny lotion. Doesn't smell like cotton candy to me. At least that's a good thing because the first one smelled horrible all right so the next item that i put up, i picked i picked up okay there you guys can see it is mr bubbles cleanse wait clean skin four and one what's so clean skin is it extra gentle high hypo hyaluron <laughs> why did i just do that i'm trying to say the word it doesn't want to come out high hot I give up. Fragrance and tear-free pediatrician and dermatologist tested. Made in the USA. Dye and par paradigm free. All right, let's, where's the ingredients on here? Okay, so at least the first one it, uh, ingredient is water. Um, it doesn't say, hmm, some of these other words I cannot say. Anyways, you guys, so do you remember back in the days when Mr. Um, um, Mr. Bubbles used to come in like that, like either the box, that, like that's old school, right? Like the, the actual box, or it came in like the pink bottle, and it really, like it really made some bubbles. Like that was back in the days. They don't even sell it no more. I was told they stopped making that same formula because it was like causing kids to like choke and stuff. Is that true? 
did you see what I just did? <laughs> I was trying to smell it and it says it's fragrance free. I need Jesus. All right, you guys, let's see exactly what else we picked up. So I ended up picking these up right here, these scissors. And the reason for it, because um, my scissors normally always get lost. So lately I've been using my regular like kitchen scissors. My dog wants to bark now um, to cut regular stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I bought these. I should have bought two of these actually because these are always really nice to use. I like these little things in here. I actually use them for like gardening. I, I know I'm not the only one, right? All right, let's see. As I'm throwing stuff around. What else did we get? So, oh, I did pick up these two cards right here. So we got numbers um, from Sesame Street. Yeah, Sesame Street. We got, Miss. what's his name? Um, I'm a guy, I'm going blank. Count Dracula, is that what it was? Anyway, so I can sit with her because she knows her numbers all the way from one to 15 and she knows her colors as well. But I definitely want to go with these two because not only did it focus on colors, it also focused off, <laughs> it focused on shapes. Clearly hooked on phonics did not work for me because I'm stumbling over my words. Anyways, you guys, so yeah, I picked these up for her. So hopefully when we have time during the day, I'm able to work with her on that, right? Okay, I look at the camera like that because y'all you, you, know, with the three-year-old attention span is, it's like a goldfish. I don't mean my dollar's a goldfish, let me be quiet. You get what I'm trying to say, right? All right, you guys. So the next item that I picked up, I picked up this Godiva. And I'm like, oh, they got Godiva here. Oh, real quick. So the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. Yeah, the Dollar Tree that's located in my neighborhood. So I used to live in the urban area. The very eclectic area at one point. So the Dollar Tree wasn't always top notch. Let's just put it that way. Let's just keep it real. It was ghetto. All right. It was ghetto. It stank. It, it just boxes everywhere. The people that worked in the store were hood. You can take the person out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the person. <laughs> but so when I went to this store and I walked in, I'm like, oh my God, y'all are so fancy. It's so clean. Everything is organized. Everything is packed. It, yeah, it was completely different, which is the reason why I have not been to the Dollar Tree store in a hot minute, because every time I've gone to one, it's just ratchet. I'm sorry, it is. Anyways, so I saw when they had Godiva there, I'm like, oh, <laughs> shut the door. I need the whole box. So clearly I didn't do that. I just grabbed one. Anyway, so what is this? Dar Wait, it was chocolate domes, double chocolate. Oh my God, I'm sound. Oh, let me put this to the side. I'm already getting some water like in my mouth. You know, when you're like salivating. Anyways, so the next item that I picked up here is the original bazooka. This was the only item that was a dollar. Now, this is bubblegum, just in case of you youngsters don't know what this is. Um, <laughs> I used to eat this a lot when I was little. I wonder if it still has the comic book strips in it. <gasps> Ooh, I haven't had these in, oh my God, my mouth is watering, like in maybe 15 years more, maybe 20 years it's been like, a hot, wait, why is this not? Oh, they got all fancy now. Look at this. They upgraded. <laughs> oh my God. It still smells like the way it was when I was a child. Okay, I just want to know if it has a comma strip in here. A comma strip. Um, what the freaking name? Oh wait, I think it does. Wait, hold on. Okay, come on. <laughs> I don't want to rip anything. Do you remember? Like, am I the only one or am I just imaginary? Didn't these like have comet strips in them? And I would always open them. The problem with the bazooka's um, gum is that they would like give you TMJ. Like, <laughs> like you would like, <clears throat> and they just hurt all right here. But you kept chewing it. You just kept chewing it. They do. Look, you guys, they still have the comic strips in them. <laughs> God, childhood memories. All right, I'll get to that. I'm not gonna chew it on camera because as I was saying, TMJ. I don't have TMJ, but I know it will get, uh, anyways. I'm not making fun of people with TMJ, so don't come yelling at me, but you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, you guys. Uh, so the next item that I picked up, I picked two of these boxes. I don't know where the other one's at. Swedish Fish, I love, I love Swedish Fish. Like seriously, like they are one of my favorite top candies. So yeah, I picked up that. And that's actually kind of, well actually no, Menards has them for a dollar. So actually Menards has them cheaper. If you don't know what Menards is, it's a local 
like hardware store in the Midwest area. So yeah, they're pretty much branching all over the place. All right, so the next item that we picked up is this Godiva candy bar. I'm telling you this dollar store had the like the best products. I was like, whoa. All right, so they had Godiva. This is Masterpieces Dark Chocolate Ganache Heart. Am I saying that right? I don't know. All right, you guys, what else? So I ended up picking up a few other goodies in the, um, actually the kids section. So they have these like stickers right here. Now I have another YouTuber friends or actually a couple of them that actually picked these up and I was really hoping that I was going to find this. So this is Le like, this, is, this is Lisa Frank. So this is pretty much like a sticker book. And I was like, when I saw everyone else like getting these, I'm like, I hope they're here. There was only one of these books left. So I'm so happy I was able to like actually get it. But come on, you guys, like, do you remember Lisa Frank, like in terms of like the whole design, like the Trapper Keepers, the folders. Oh my God, Trapper Keeper. Anyways, you guys, so yeah, I picked these suckers up. So then I ended up picking up at these other stickers right heels. All right, these are pretty cute. So there's like 96 in there. I picked up these um, Disney princesses. What else? And then I picked up this. Now, I really wish I would have got a few more of these. I didn't realize this has a slit. It does. It's, it is what it is. So this is from the, hmm, the Wonder Woman WW84 <laughs> movie. Like, I guess these... I don't know, they're like to promote the movie at that time. So they actually had quite a few of these, but these are kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're like, they, they're like, I can't think of my words. They're like lifted. I'm not sure how to explain it. Almost kind of like that foamy type of material. Does that make any sense? I don't know. All right, guys, so let's go ahead into the other bag of goodies that I got here. Oh, I just saw the other box. Remember, I told you I got two of them. All right, what else did I pick up? Mm -mm. Mm. Sorry. All right. So the next things I picked up were three of these bowls because my daughter, she likes to drink her milk first before she eats her cereal. And when I saw these, I'm like, oh, this is so clever. Like, you know, destroy <laughs> sound effects. Anyways, you guys. So I got one of, what is this? Frozen? Mm -hmm. I got one of, what is this? Baby Shark? You know, the cartoons. Oh, if I hear this song one more time in my house. Anyways, and then we have... <laughs> We have Paw Patrol right here. So yeah, I got her three of those. All right, so then she ended up choosing these three items. Oh, and there was another item that I picked. She got like one of those balloons on the stick. She got that, I don't got it with me, she got it. And, all right, so she ended up throwing this in her own cart because she wanted her own basket to carry. I'm telling you, don't take a three-year-old with you. <laughs> anyway, so she, she picked this and she just tossed it in the basket and she won't want to do So I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. And then she got these bracelets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then she picked these other bracelets out too. So yeah, it is what, look, it, they're cute. They're little toys for her to play with. Boy, she got a lot of bracelets here. All right, so you get 15 pieces in one. And this, I mean, I say 15, I meant to say 10. I can read sometimes. And then another 10 right here. All right, so that is what I got from there. What else did I pick up? Oh, so I got two of these because I haven't had these in a hot minute. Corn nuts. But I, okay, I don't like ranch, but I like ranch corn nuts. And I don't know why. I used to eat these all the time when I was in high school. And the problem with that is that obviously you shouldn't be eating in class. And I was trying so hard. Like I would have like a Ziploc bag, have all my corn nuts in there because I don't want to bring this big old, you know what I mean? The sound. Why did I do that? Because the sound didn't matter. Once you start chewing them, you're <clears throat> even with your mouth was closed, you can still hear the echo sounds in your in your mouth, your jaws just crunching away of the corn nuts. Yeah, so I picked up two of these because I'm like, oh, the only reason I picked up two because they're the last two. Now, if there was four, I probably would have picked four just because it's been a hot minute since I had these. Anyways, you guys, do you guys remember corn nuts? Am I the only one who eats these? I love corn nuts. <sighs> All right, you guys. So the other item that I picked up, oh, I didn't pick these up. My husband did. I, what the heck are these? Potato, potato sticks? What the heck are these? All right. Anyways, you guys, so what else did we pick up? All right, so the last items that we have here are a bunch of stickers. I'm going to tell you why I got all these stickers here. Now, these are from the LOL Surprise. These are cute, actually. Look at these. You see these? 
So they're very, they're very, they're clear. And even the back is clear. Do you see this? So these are, they call them 3D stickers, auto collant, wait, auto collants. Am I saying that right? Auto collant, I don't know. Anyways, but I thought these were super cute. All right, so then I ended up picking up these as well. So there's what, a total of 108. So they're different like emoji signs. I think that's super cute. So just in case if you are new to my channel, Hello, welcome, um, special. Anyway, so the reason why I bought so many stickers is because we're trying to get our kids to make better choices. So we figured, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I said that out loud. So we're trying to get the kids to, re uh, we're trying to give the kids a reward. So if they collect so many stickers, then we can go to the store and they can pick up whatever they wanted. So we did that actually with one of my sons because my son who was seven, he was actually having some difficult times in school, trying to like readjust, coping. He has ADHD, so he, he does struggle with abrupt changes too, too quickly. So for a couple months he was struggling. And then for a whole week, he actually did quite well. So as a like uh, a reward for him, we'll say, okay, well, you did well all week long in school. Let's go to Target and pick out any toy that you want. Um, yeah, so we ended up doing that. However, the toy that he did want to pick out was like $99.99. I'm like, Ugh, you wasn't that good for it. <laughs> Let's let's go somewhere else. Let's pick something else. So he ended up picking up some other toy that was like 30 bucks. But still, like, I don't know about $100. That ain't Christmas yet. Anyways, you guys. So the other items that we picked out are these, like, I don't know, dinosaur UFO type of stickers. Those things don't go together. But they're adorable either way. So you see that? Very good. Wow. Neat. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I didn't realize this. I thought they were all different. I mean, all different like the same concept of uh, dinosaurs, but I guess they're kind of like outer space. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, these are tiny ones. Oh, I like, okay, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to really thoroughly look, because again, you know, when you got your keys with you, sometimes it's hard to look at things. All right, so the other items that we picked up, we picked up these dinosaur ones, these like, I don't know, what are they called? Like foil type of packaging? They're super cute though, you see this? All right, so, then I picked up these for me. I may end up giving them, but I also may just use them for kind of crafts because these are real fancy stickles. Um, but I think these are more maybe for like crafting. But look at these, you guys. Aren't these adorable? They do raise up, so you may not be able to see it. Look at this. Okay, so I got those stickers. And then I got these stickers here of a llama. The other one was unicorns. Then we got this one. It looks like, like nature animals. Those are adorable. You see, same thing. Kind of, they're like rays. Those are really would be cute for like, you know, DIY, like making your own like cards to give to somebody. And then we got these circus ones over here. Super cute. They actually had a whole section of like a DIY section of like a bunch of these things to paint with, knickknacks. It was really cool. I've never seen that in any other Dollar Tree stores where they had like a whole section of like DIY projects. The words. All right, you guys. So that was my, I guess it was somewhat of a large haul of my haul from the Dollar Tree slash dollar store. Really, it's kind of like a dollar twenty-five store nowadays. A uh, haul of goodies that I picked up. So again, this is a hot, I think it's been maybe five years since I have been to a Dollar Tree store. It's been quite some time. Again, no shade to the ones in the inner city. It's just they're not always the most um, welcoming. <laughs> it's a challenge to find something that's actually decent in those stores. You got to get it when it comes right off the boat, meaning off the boat you know, off the truck. Anyways, you guys, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions with the items that I chose. And if you received, or I, I feel like I'm doing a boxy charm on boxy. <laughs> if you picked up any of these items, why did you pick them up and do they work out? You know what I mean? Like, hmm, I'm wondering if that spoon, wait, no, the sippy cup bowl, if it actually works, or is it just gonna make a huge mess? If you bought those for your child, let me know. Was that a good thing to buy? Cause now I'm afraid that that might have been a hot mess item. Anyways, you guys, all right, you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up as well, because as always, I greatly appreciate it when you guys do. But until then, make sure you all brush your teeth, wash your culo and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye now.